good afternoon dear friends today we will discuss about development of solids and its surfaces myself sunil sonigra and lecturer from mechanical engineering department government polytechnic rajkot now what is development in a general term to develop means what to develop means to expand from small thing right to develop means to increase to enlarge or to go at certain higher level than what is prevailing right now but in our case what we are going to discuss today that is not that development here means we will not develop any solid or we will not extend it or we will not expand it but here in our today's discussion we will develop its outer surface for example in 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 case of any solid there is an some uh, there is some outer surface so we will develop its outer surface in our uh, today's presentation with some cutting planes with some cutting sections and basically we will cover main four major solids that is prism pyramid cylinder and cone now what is the development that is the first question with us what is development assume a hollow object made up of thin sheet or a paper cut it cut this object from one side unfold the sheet completely unfold its outer surface the shape of unfolded sheet is called the development of surface of that object suppose we take an example of these prism right this is a prism it's an hexagonal prism now what is development of this hexagonal prism now to draw development of this hexagonal prism let me open its outside surface so this hexagonal prism is made up of a thin sheet like this and if i open that thin sheet which is overcome outside this it will appear like this so here this is a hexagon if i open it it would appear like this six rectangles are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right we if we start from here this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six rectangles are there so this is a prism with a hexagonal uh, which shows hexagon in top view in front of its rectangle and its development appears like this so this is development of hexagonal prism now in the lateral surface this surface is called lateral surface means in lateral surface the upper phase and lower phase are excluded they are not covered if complete development is there is there then the development of this prism would be this rectangle as well as two hexagons like this one uh, of upper phase and second one of the lower phase so two hexagon and this is complete development of this solid but in case of lateral surface development just a rectangle is there now what's about the dimension of this development as you think see this is a hexagonal prism and in this case this is a side length say it is 50 mm or 40 mm or uh, 50 cm or whatsoever the total width would be equal to 6 times its side length right if this is a 50 mm then 50 50 50 50 or 50 cm or here i think it's a 4 inch of 400 cent 100 mm so 100 100 100 100 600 mm would be the total width and height of this development would be equal to height of this prism so this is development of uh, this prism now next we discuss about why why this development is needed to be discussed why we should study how to develop the uh, lateral surface area of any solid what is its significance in industry why it is covered in our syllabus and why today we are giving much emphasis on the development of this solid surfaces because you might have seen this kind of uh, solids this kind of objects you know this is a boiler shell shell of the boiler which is used uh, to produce the steam at higher pressure at desired rate second one is the chimney i think in most of the uh, kitchens this chimney right now are introduced you might have seen this kind of pressure vessel means a fluid is stored at higher pressure inside these drums shovels these are some examples which are uh, indicating some common thing in all in all these components uh, can you guess what is a common thing in all these four 
all are from different areas boiler is from thermal side or chimney or steam uh, manufacture steam uh, uh, production uh, chimney is uh, used to exhaust uh, to uh, the absorb the exhaust gases to uh, send it to the outside pressure vessels are used to store the fluid shovels are used uh, as we know to lift any raw material and one thing is common in all these four components you you think what is that thing see all these components are having some thickness in its outside uh, layer it is made up of a sheet of metal sheet these are so many products which are difficult to manufacture by conventional manufacturing processes the development technique is used to fabricate these products these are the examples of such kind of products some more examples that is automobile body and aeroplane body uh, these are the best example of the development one another example which is widely we are uh, in touch uh, with daily usages that is a uh, stitching of cloth this this is our cloth as a raw material it is just a piece of cloth and our tailors do it it cuts according to the requirement according to our size and uh, after cutting it in appropriate shape they do stitching and after stitching it appears like this so outer surface it looks like this so that is also the best example of the development of the surfaces now how to draw the development of some basic solids our today's objective is to learn the methods of development of surfaces of four types of solids the first is prism then pyramid cylinder and cone we know these are the uh, basic shapes of any solid the prism may be hectagon may be pentagonal may be hexagonal it may be square or triangle uh, or similarly pyramid may be of any polygon cylinder is made up of two circuses uh, two circles uppermost circle and lowermost circle and cone is made up of a bottom circle which is joined with a slant edge to an apex point and the specification of all these four solids are known to us that is a side length of the base and its height and in case of cylinder and cone the diameter of the base and its height so these are the four solids which we will discuss today uh, one by one now development of lateral surface of prism now what is lateral surface as we discussed lateral surface means just an outside uh, triangular faces in case of prism rectangular faces are there in case of uh, pyramid triangular faces are there now this is a first solid that is prism this is a pentagonal prism now the development of lateral surfaces of, of this pentagonal prism would be as we know uh, it is its a specification is its a side length that is a in our case its height h is equal to its height a is the side of the base and then in case of this prism number of rectangles is equal to number of sides of the prism as it is a pentagonal prism in case of development five rectangles would be there as we seen in our hexagonal cases so this would be the development of this solid five rectangles would be there and the specification of this five rectangles would be equal to height of this rectangle is equal to height of this solid as well as width of each rectangle is equal to the a so a into a into a plus a plus a plus a plus a five times a is the total side length height is equal to height of this prism so that is simple development of given prism and it's a lateral development because we have excluded the pentagonal shape upper 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 pentagon as well as lower pentagon if you are said to draw full development so in that case you have to draw both the pentagons to uh, to the side of this development or at any upper surface you may draw pentagon over here you may draw one pentagon on the top side another pentagon anywhere from this five base another pentagon over here so it would be the full development of given solid so i think uh, the development of prism is clear to you so we uh, in short we have to uh, think about outside area outside surface only now second case that we are going to discuss that is development of lateral surface of cylinder as we know cylinder is made up of two circular faces one is upper circular face another is lower circular face and the distance between these two circular face is called as the height of this cylinder let me take an uh, example of cylinder this is a cylinder as we know cylinder is made up of a circle right in top view it's a circle in front view it's a rectangle if 
we want to draw development of this cylinder what should i do i should cut one side so here if i cut one side like this if i thoroughly cut it from here and if i open it we can draw its development right if i cut it over here see this is our cylinder if i cut from here it's a full cutting plane now what do you say about its width if i cut it along this side and the total width of this rectangle would be equal to see i have just opened this cylinder you can see here this is an developed surface of the cylinder right in this case it's a circular cylinder now it's a rectangle now what do you think about the width of this rectangle the width of this rectangle would be equal to the periphery of the circle of the cylinder if this is a circle the length of periphery is equal to pi into d that we know the total length would be pi into d and height would uh, and this height would remain same that is equal to height of this cylinder so height of cylinder is say h and diameter is d then width of this rectangle would be pi into d so this is development of our given cylinder now if the cylinder is cut at certain angle let we discuss the later cases now lateral surface of cylinder th this is a cylinder of height h diameter d and development would be a rectangle with height is equal to height of the cylinder and width is equal to the periphery of the circle that is equal to pi into d or 2 pi into r so if diameter is 50 mm phi into 50 So that is equal to 157 mm would be the width of this rectangle, and height is and h d is equal to diameter of the base. Now next is the development of lateral surface of pyramid. In case of pyramid, how to draw a development? As we know, pyramid is made up of. This is one model of pyramid, right? Say this is an hexagonal pyramid. In top view, it appears as an hexagon. In front view, it appears as an triangle and this pyramid is made up of six triangular faces you can see here this is one triangular face this is another triangular face another one this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six triangular faces are there which all these triangular faces are joined at one apex point and bottom face is just an hexagon now what do you think about the development of this solid now think what how to develop this surface for this just we do cut over here expand it and then what would be uh, the shape of the development the shape of this this one shape is triangle right so this triangle is joined with this this triangle is joined with this so all these triangles are joined at one point and that would be the development of this pyramid it's an hexagonal so six triangles will be there in case of pentagonal five triangles would be there now here we will see how to draw the development this is a pyramid number of triangle it's a square pyramid so there are four triangles should be there how to draw the development of this so first draw it's a true length of the slant edge means the total length of its slant edge is there in our in this case this length is the true length draw the true length then from that l is the true length then draw an arc from the base side length is say s in our case so sort of from here this side length is s so here also from here to here cut an arc which is at a distance of s from here so this length is s so we have drawn one triangle another second third fourth put four base of the triangle over here on this arc then join all these bases with a straight line to one point and this is the development of square pre pyramid now if it is a pentagonal pyramid obviously there would be five triangle and what's about hexagonal pyramid uh, i think uh, you all know in case of hexagonal pyramid six triangles would be there and similarly octagon heptagon nonagon dec decagon and appropriately number of triangles would increase so that is about surface of pyramid and l is the slant length slant edge and s is the edge of the base slant length means the corner this corner and edge means the base side uh, uh, which is s over here now for third uh, another solid that is cone development of lateral surfaces of cone and all of we uh, know about the cone shape 
as we know cone is made up of a circular base and it is having a circular base and triangular face this is a cone right uh, uh, you might have we we all have uh, eaten ice cream ice cream cone is a uh, best example of a cone it's a circular at one face and an apex point is at the another end so this is a cone and how to develop the cone if i cut the cone at certain angle or uh, at uh, some of the edge then its development would appear like this see this is a cone as we have drawn here this is a cone and to develop this cone so this is a cone shape right at uh, top view is a circle front view is a triangle now to draw development of this circle circle this is an outer surface how to develop it cut from any one edge let i am i am cutting from this edge like this cut this corner uh, straight away this is a true length or slant edge of this cone cut it along this right i have cut this cone now if i open it it would appear like this is it clear so now this is the development of cone now how to draw this development of the cone so for that we have to use some basic mathematics we we have learned about how to draw a arc uh, of any given length see here in this uh, cone we know about the diameter of the base as well as height height of this cone is known to us but we do not know the length of this slant edge so first thing is to find out the length of this slant edge and then after what do you say about this about this arc length what do you say if the diameter of this cone is d then total arc length say so this is arc a and b if uh, we can we can name this a and b so this is a and this is b this is point a this is point b so length of this arc a and b is equal to pi into d right the periphery of this cone uh, base of the cone that is equal to pi into d so length of this arc is known to us we know the length of this slant edge 